Hello friends and welcome to Coffee and Conversation. Rays of Hope from the Gordon Avenue Baptist Church in Adel, Georgia. Friend, let me invite you today to pick up a Bible and turn with me over to the book of First Peter. We'll be in First Peter chapter 1. I want us to look at verses 3 through verse number 6. Get a cup of coffee. Hey, let's sit together. Have a wonderful encounter with God and his precious word on this beautiful day. Well, praise God. Friend, there's just not a better way to start a brand new day and a good fresh cup of hot coffee. But more important than that, getting into the truth of God's precious word. That word that will light our path as we walk through this life. Well, friend, over in 1 Peter chapter 1, verses 3 through verse number 6, the Bible says here, Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, which according to his abundant mercy has begotten us again unto a lively hope by the resurrection of of Jesus Christ from the dead to an inheritance incorruptible and undefiled and that fadeth not away reserved in heaven for you who are kept by the power of God through faith unto salvation ready to be revealed in the last time. Wherein ye greatly rejoice, though now for a season, if need be, ye are in heaviness through manifold temptations. You know, it seems, friend, as though there are temptations and trials everywhere we turn during these dark, gloomy days that we're living in. But, friend, I find a light of hope in these few verses of Scripture. And that's what I want to talk to you about for just a moment, the light of hope. You know, when we think that there's no way, friend, there is a way. When we think that there is no hope, there is hope. When we think that all is finished, we have yet to begin. When we think there is no chance, there is every possibility and every probability what we think uh, is gone is not gone at all. You see, hope is a flickering light that illuminates our life. The Lord Jesus Christ came to us as the light of the world. His light is the hope of the world. Everybody's trying to find light somewhere else. They're looking to a new president to bring light into the world. They're trying to elect a new senate to bring light into the world. My friend, they're trying to elect new politicians to bring light into the world. They're turning to alcohol to bring light into the world. They're turning to drug addiction to bring light into the world. But friend, none of those things can ever bring light into the world. Jesus Christ is very present and he is the light of the world. His light is the only hope of the world. Our faith in Christ gives us a way to conquer the times of our hopelessness. When we think that all is finished, the Lord Jesus Christ comes to show us our work has not yet begun. When we think that there's no chance of anything good happening, the greatest doer of good comes and shows us his ultimate good in our lives is yet to be accomplished. My friend, you can be defeated only by your own personal consent. For every setback that you experience in life, the Lord Jesus Christ is behind you and it need to be he will push you forward. He'll push you onward. For every second that you think you can't take one more step, 
The Lord Jesus Christ tells you to keep on moving, to stop feeling sorry for yourself, and to keep looking up. And when you do that, you'll see the light of hope. And friend, that light is found in Jesus Christ. The Bible says in our text verse, Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. According to his abundant mercy, he has begotten us to a lively hope by the resurrection of Christ from the dead, to an inheritance incorruptible, undefiled, and that fadeth not away, that's reserved for each and every one who will trust Christ as Lord and Savior. Friend, there's a lot of people walking around like there is no hope, but there is hope. Jesus is the light of hope. Think about these things with me, and let's pray together. Father, we rejoice that even in the midst of the gloomiest darkness that we've ever faced in this life, that there is a light of hope. And that hope is found in the Lord Jesus Christ. Help us never lean to our own understanding, but to trust you. And Lord, if we'll just, as the devotion said, look up, we'll see the light of hope. Help us do it in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, friend, as you see the light of hope, you go out into your world and you share it. Uh, your life could be the only Bible some will ever read. And God may use you to point people to the light of hope. Jesus Christ. God bless you. Have a wonderful day.